back to Amy and Sean. On 1027 VGS. So my dad taught me at a really young age. Well, I don't want to say maybe he was teaching me, but he was definitely he definitely tried to teach my husband this this trick. Oh, your dad's teaching him. Yeah. Oh. And it's things that my dad has lived by his entire life. Okay. If you pretend you don't know how to do something, then you don't have to do it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I found that's actually worked in this industry quite a bit. Because mm-hmm. if you show you do know how to do something, all of a sudden it's called your job now. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. terrible. So uh, I, my, when we got our above ground pool, um, my husband took care of it. He built it and he was the pool boy for it. And he vacuumed it and skimmed it and did the chlorine and the shock and all the things. But then he never gets in it. He like he, he I don't think he's been in in two years, m- really? under five times. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Not a big fan of bodies of water. Huh. So um, it was probably in July when it was super, super hot out. And I decided that I wanted to get in the pool with Roman. I mean, Roman and I are in the pool, you know, nine times out of 10. We love being in the pool. Yeah. And I said, well, there's a bunch of like crap on the bottom of it. So I'm I'm going to have to vacuum it because he's not home. So I made the mistake of vacuuming it and I oh. did a really good job. And now he says, I'm the pool boy. <laughs> and I don't want to be the pool boy. <laughs> but he said, you know how to do it. You, you, you know how to do it and you're in it the most. You're the one that uses it. You should vacuum it. And I'm so upset. I'm so upset. But I go out there and I vacuum that damn pool to the best of my ability. But then the other day, I realized that the tree in the front yard was like starting to like almost touch my car because it's getting a little overgrown. Long. Yeah. yeah. Uh oh. And I swear on everything I love, I will not cut that damn tree. I swear on everything I love. <laughs> I promise about to be you. Have to drive to the Serengeti. Fool, fool me once. <laughs> fool me once. I will not do anything else around the house. But, but you know how to? To cut the tree? Yeah. I will never try. I, I've never wow. done it. So I, in in, in the back of my mind, because I'm like, oh, because we borrow uh, the cutters from Sean, uh, not you, Sean, next door, Sean. Okay. And so I'm like, want me to call him and ask him if we can borrow, and by we, I mean you, borrow and cut (laughs) this tree. And he said, are you going to do it? I said, absolutely not. Fool me once with the damn pool. I will not be cutting trees and hedges and all of those things. Wow. That is your job. Since you named me the pool boy, now I'm going to be busy in the backyard. You take care of the front yard. Maybe this is kind of like he's trying to add a little spice to it, though. Like, oh, check out the pool boy. Yeah, I know. <laughs> there I know. with a little, you know, you got the little skimmer. The skimmer, Ooh, yes. She's looking pretty fancy Right, right what a snack over there. Hey. But I, 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 feel like beverage? There, I feel like there are some things that he did in the past or didn't do because he didn't know how. And one of those was the the dishes. He, I promise, did not know we had a dishwasher because just I always did them. I always put them in and emptied it. And then one time he did them. And I'm uh, like, oh, you know, you know where they go. You know how to wash them. You know how to start the dishwasher. Now you get to, to do that little Cinderella. So um, I think that we both have made the mistake of, of, letting the other know that we know how to do something and we won't let it happen again. There is a uh, an amazing bit on YouTube uh, called The Mystery of the Basket. Have you have you seen this? I don't think so. Okay, this is outstanding. It, so did you say you were going to make dinner? I couldn't remember. <laughs> what? I just wish you'd take some initiative and cook your own dinner for once. I've been at work too, you know, and what, now I get to come home and pack the dishwasher and then unpack the dishwasher and cook dinner and put the washing on. And you know what? I can't continue to live like this because hey, it's hey, not me. Hey, hey, relax. It's going to be all right. <laughs> She's How? stunned. Here, I'll just show you. Okay, I've been doing this since you moved in. See this basket thing? I don't know how it happens, if it's the house or what, but any dirty clothes you put in this basket, somehow the next day they're just clean, folded, and in a perfect pile on your bed. <laughs> You're not serious. I couldn't believe it at first either. <laughs> See, uh, you, you got to make sure that the things you do do, you get a thousand percent uh-huh. credit for. This is just this is just a a uh, 
an example of this morning. He said, you need to make a, an appointment for Roman to go to the dentist. And I said, you're home. <laughs> I'm at work. You call and make the appointment. He said, that's your thing. <laughs> <laughs> He said, this is your area. I said, what's the name of it? He said, Google it. Wow. And then I said a few choice words. And then he said, just as if you were Googling what you're going to wear to Beyonce for a month and a half. Oh. It's the same energy. <laughs> <laughs> I said, I don't have time. Bye. <laughs> uh, how, does, is this how your relationship works? 702-597-1027. I think there's, there's a bit of that healthy sort of. I mean, we all have, I feel like... We all have the things that we do around the house. Like it's his things are the floor. I do the laundry sometimes. Um, I <laughs> you do half of it. It, it yes. just never ends up folded on right. the bed. Yeah. It's never folded on the bed ever, ever, ever. But like there's certain things that we do, right? Like I clean the bathrooms, he vacuums. So there's certain things. Well, do you want to want it to be yours or not? At some point in your life, you have claimed it unintentionally. Yeah. And uh, I will not cut the tree. I promise you. The, the, the pool was my mistake. It was my mistake. I won't slip like that again. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, if you, if you had to choose either pool or tree, I think tree would be easier, right? Pool, it's only open half to, half year. Sure, but then you have to like get the Bunsen burner out and make sure it's like the pH balance <laughs> yeah. is perfect. Is it green? Is it too much yeah, yellow? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. That's a, that's a lot. I'm a scientist. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> Amy, PhD. <laughs>